which of the following areas formed by math tiles is factorable? So we have different math tiles here. And one thing to know for the provincial is that these, uh, the color white means positive. So white is positive and the shaded is negative for the provincial. It depends on the textbook as well. So these big squares represent x squared, x squared, whereas the nice lines, these long sticks, are considered x's. This is positive x, positive x, x, x. And the these little singular, singular, tiny little units, squares, are considered 1. Now, because we have this as shaded, it's negative 1, negative 1. We have a bunch of negative 1s. And this here is shaded sticks, so it's a negative x, negative x, negative x. So we add them up all together. So this one here, for choice D, is going to be 2x squared. This is plus 6x minus 3x. It's going to be total of positive 3x because 6x minus 3x is 3x minus 9. So using your factoring skills, you can algebraically factor this out as x plus 3, 2x minus 3. And the fact that we can factor it means that choice D is the answer. Now another way to do it more graphically is to simply build up the sides here. x plus 3 is going to be this side over here. There's our x. It's a white x because it's positive. x plus 3. These are also white because we have the nice positive 3 values. 2x minus 3. So again, we have two of these, two x's, two positive x's, 2x minus 3. So we have these as shaded in, shaded in, shaded in. And notice how when we multiply it, uh, x times an x, or a bar times a bar, is going to be a two-dimensional representation of that, which is x squared. The x times the bar is x squared. The x, the bar, times a negative is going to be negative. It's going to be a negative bar. So for this picture, these uh, sides are the factors of this area here. So the fact that we can choose uh, sides that actually correspond and work out properly shows that this is factorable. So if we wanted to draw some sides for another choice, you will see that pictorially does not work out. For example, if you have a, a negative x times an x, it turns out to be negative x squared, which works out, which works out here as well. And negative number times a negative number is, is indeed positive, so these work out. But the moment we go here, which is a, a positive 1 times positive x, it's going to be x. It works out here, works out here. But then we have 1 times negative 1 should be a negative, so this is not shaded in. These other choices don't work out. So d is the answer.